me to accept with Allah. Let's hope. Let's see. It it's raining. Who is there? Who is there? Network, oh, network, 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 network. This unexpected life that I came, I hope people will join. Where is everybody? Though the network is not good though, but eh, it's raining here. Let's see how it will go. I have this five minutes. I said, let me use it for this video. Good evening, afternoon. Good morning. I don't know where you're watching me from. Hello, Abiodi Abiola Queen. I see you. Hey, Sister Victoria. I see you here. Good day. Oh, yeah, everybody. Ah, Sister Chinieri. Gloria. Mm, see my darling. Sunshine. Cecilia. Hello, darling. Helen. Sister Pretty. Mm, I see you. Here. My mom, they watch me. My mama, they watch me. <laughs> I just see her right there. Mommy, what you they do for him? <laughs> you still won't get belly. <laughs> My mom is watching me right now. She's here. I just see her. She clock us. This woman, yeah? You suppose not pass this kind of internet thing now. What are you doing here? <laughs> My God, mommy! Now, wow, mommy, go, go relax, go relax, go relax. Eh, I know, eh? go relax. <laughs> hey, darling, angel, freedom. Mm. I'll be please try to please. Oh, okay, my all right, I'll share it to my YouTube later. Good day from Cameroon. Good day, good day. I don't want to shout too much. My son is sleeping, so I just want to be take, take it slowly. Yeah. Watching from London. Thank you so much for watching, darlings. Thank you. The ministry is growing. The ministry is growing. We are growing. We are growing. Let's share. Let's share. Today's topic is important. Huh? It's just a little chit chat something. But in Anomio, I go start very slow. But when the spirits come over me, for people who say I'm shouting, sometimes it's not my fault when I shout. It's not that I want to shout. I'm not even a shouting type. But when the spirit is over me, I'll just start to talk and the energy will just start coming out. All right. So sorry if the things sound on your ear like, like a noise. It's in the noise. Please help me share that link. Today, uh, before I start, I want to remind everybody that uh, at the middle of this night, for my top sharers, watch out for your name. Your name can come out among the 30 women, even men. I pick men, not only women, all right, that I'll be helping through fertility. Okay, so watch out. Your name might just pop out. If you're among, you just send me a message on my number and then I'm going to add you to it. Okay, so watching from Denmark. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for joining in. Ireland. Oh, France. You see, the ministry is growing. We go, ah, women will become liberated. You know, everything will tie them down. Nothing will tie them down. Forget my team part. God is even, is doing his work. I'm telling you because sometimes, when I do some things, I'm like, oh God, how did I do it? Sometimes I don't even know how I do it. That's just a plain truth. Sometimes I don't know how I do these things. All right, they just happen. God has been faithful. Okay, now remember he said something in the Bible that the last days he will use even the, the little one, the one that they do not expect, he would use it, use the person. Okay? That for him to use me, make that forget the... <laughs> the medicine part of it. Manchester, Germany. Ah, thank you so much for joining in. Anyway, let's jump to today's topic. It's going to be fun. All right. Uh, the topic for today is uh, the five questions you should ask yourself when you're trying to conceive or maybe you've been conceiving for years. The thing is not working. There's just five questions you have to ask yourself. You see, women... Especially women, you know, I like to talk about women because now women, they suffer pass. Women, now they, they suffer pass. You see, a woman will spend every amount she has to know exactly why she's not trying to conceive. A woman would go as far as to borrow money to try to find the source of her problem. So that's the reason why I always talk about women. Men, eh, now they go just put and say, eh, the fire ram, why never happen? Why never happen? So it's not all men. But most women right now facing pressure, losing their marriages, losing home, a home that they've been happy to be in, the, 
maybe the fir very first day you see the man, you just say, oh, not in this. A home that you're so happy in and then you find difficulty not conceiving. Some people don't even get pressure in their marriages. So they know they get pressure. As in the illness are just too sweet that you say, God, I must give them a child. It becomes a burden to you. You don't get pressure. Nobody is asking you. You understand? Person conscious, they judge them. Yes, it happens. And maybe you don't try all tests. You don't go everywhere, left, right, center. Do this. Even some, you did it out of pain. Say, God, I shouldn't be doing this, but I have to do this. I must do them. I don't get choice. And you can't do the thing. Boom, there's no result. You might even have borrowed money to go and do IVF. Just because of this became matter. Stay yet. Nothing come aside. Everything fail. Now, if you don't do all these things, it is time for you to sit down and ask yourself this question. There's five questions I'm talking about. There are questions that it is not all hospital you go that they have time to do these things for you. They expect you to know for yourself because they expect you to already know your body. Hospitals get clients to not to say that everything the doctor go tell you say sit down, more could do. No, 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 no. They're not gonna tell you. The only thing they will do is carry the paper and say, oh. <laughs> You say what? Okay, uh, madam, you have fibro though. Uh. Okay, uh, you have to come next week for operation because the only thing we can see here is operation. Or maybe they'll tell you, madam, the only solution is IVF. Or maybe you don't drive here before. They wouldn't tell you. Now, what are the questions? This is very important. You see, I don't know why I do this. This and I don't say every time before I go live, I don't lose a big topic. But today, I just had this thing to come live and say this topic. I don't know why, but I'm sure I'm talking to somebody. The first question you want to ask yourself is, is my BMI okay? What is BMI? BMI is your body max index. Your body max index is calculated by your height and your weight. You see, African women, we don't watch it. Sometimes when they pass the limit, when they toy with fire and when they feel like, say, oh, you know, they burn us, nothing will happen. When you used to be young, when you day young that time, now so you they get be like plop 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 plop. Now you go even say, I don't want them, I don't ready, I don't want them, I don't ready. Why? Because your immune, your your cells, everything, your body fat is still at that measure of that twenty five point five, or maybe twenty, or maybe twenty two point five. You never fat reach where you be now. You never add weight. It can't reach time for you to, to, to get picking. You enter husband house. You know, what you make a young young ladies, especially young ladies who are just married. I they watch them, I will just watch them. You go marry husband, you never reach one year, two years, it boom. You don't fly, you don't add. When they ask them, say now husband money, I they enjoy. You are just killing yourself. The minute you add a sex weight to the normal weight you have. You start having what they call primary infertility. This body max index will not be found in your blood. It will not be found in your HSG test. It will not be found in your hormone. If you not tell your doctor, say calculate them for me, not go calculate them. He will not calculate it. Now, if you have been trying to get pregnant and it's not working, and you walk out of a house, for your mind, you think it's an enjoyment or na ah. Or oh, is a new style. You are deceiving yourself. Eh? That stupid thing where you they look, say not nah, 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 just not nah, 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 just a uh, enjoyment of life. That stupid thing where you overlook, it can be your delay right now. It can be what is causing you not to get pregnant. So many women where I go see where I go help. The minute I tell them lose weight, they will just lose weight. One, two more, boom, they don't get belly. It will look like a magic. But a tiny something can give you a problem. That same excess weight can cause you to have what they call polastic ovarian syndrome or maybe polastic ovaries. 
egg where it's supposed to pass to you because just they there because you they feed your egg wrongly. It's still of until they in shape, make it pass the tube, boom, you go there, they go block you. You no go go. You no go go. That is what PCOS do. It will be there for form. It, you know, the tube is supposed to be like, it's supposed to enter, it's supposed to form as an egg shape, supposed to form. It go come enter. But instead of it to enter, it go just stay there as a block. It go start to the big. It go start to the big. For you, no be problem. It's not a problem. Excess weight. Excess. No, when I mean excess weight, eh? I don't mean say like, like me or no. But if you feed yourselves just a little tiny something like this, where they're not supposed to chop, where they become fat, or maybe they eat too much granite, too much butter, those things can cause your BMI to become irregular. So check yourself. That one I want. Another thing you want to ask yourself is, are my hormones balanced? Are my hormones in place? You see, some people will go for hormone profile test. They will not say their hormones are in balance. So they wouldn't even care. They will not do anything about it. Rather, they will put it under their pillow. On that bed. Some people say, they don't they keep the results. The minute they see the results, they tell them like this, the next thing, na, 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 kara go or they go put that for grammy, they take pack the tea. If your hormones are in balance, I'm telling you, you see, see, that, this thing about hormones, all right, even if na small thing as your FSH, your follicle phase, become high, it can cause you not to get pregnant. Because this thing be like scale. Everything has to be in order for your body functions to work. Everything has to be level. If one go up, the other one supposed to level one. If another one go up, the other one supposed to level one. If your prolactin high and the other things they maybe up and down, up and down, then one person tell you say, eh, they are okay. You can manage it to get pregnant. There is nothing like management when it comes to hormone. You ain't managing a shit when it comes to hormone. If you have prolactin issue and water is coming out from your breast, that is not a management because prolactin can cause you to, to, to have primary infertility. I continue to wonder, women, they could get that thing. Water would they come out for their breast too? But they could find what they want to boost their, their, their fertility. They could find what they want to use. I won't just get belay. They don't want to sort out that hormone problem. And you continue to ask God why. You could ask why. Why what? Hormones are like engine of a car. I continue to use this as illustration because it's the simplest thing I can ever think of using. Even like engine of motor. You see engine, you know see everything, including screw, everything they work. Tick, tick, tick. As the motor they work, as everything they work. If one come out, that engine go knock off. If one four come off on inside, you don't finish. The motor don't finish. That is how your body is. If your breast is bringing out water and you're not taking care of it, or maybe you use bromegol. And uh, you don't use that three months. It is not, it, it, the thing they come outside, no work. After you stop, boom, you don't come outside again. And then you leave and say, I don't use everything. I not they do it again. I don't tire. You see, one thing that makes people not to have results when they use maybe even synthetic drugs in balancing their hormone is because of what they eat. What do you they chop every time? See, at the time now, it's the thing that replicates every 90 days. You get 90 days to change your ways. You get three months to change whatever goes through your mouth. It's a three months grace that every, everyone have. Before anything will grow for your body, now what you chop for three months? If I they lie, sit down and try to start imagining everything. That you've eaten for the past three months and see if anything where you eat they help you sit down carry a book and buy and try to write out for the past three months how many times you put fruit and vegetable before pot chop some people go even cook this vegetable of a thing they go cook and overdone if they cook and finish they go store for freezer when all the nutrients don't die finish 
Now that time they go remember to chop her. If they won't come even chop and they will come put her for microwave. Oh, the worst thing. And we all know that eating with microwave can cause you to have cancer. Because of the electromagnetic field where they come from inside. You feel get that. If you sit down, you will notice that everything that you've eaten for three months, they've not been right. You've not been eating healthy for the past three months, four months, one year, two years. And you're trying to get pregnant. And you're hoping for your hormones to become balanced. You're thinking that that breast milk that is coming out from your breast after using Bromegron one month, it will be good, it's done. It doesn't work that way. You cannot jump step. You know if you jump that step. You got to balance that hormone. If your estrogen low, balance her. So we may go get that low estrogen or high uh, uh, progesterone or whatever. And still yet, you go see the way they'll say, I need, hey, I beg you, hey, what is the thing that make you pregnant? This one go say banana recipe, you go drink. Avocado recipe, you go carry. Claw meat, you go put. Yoni pearl, you go insert. But your hormones are still in balance. They are still there, scattered like wave. How does that help you? Go back and balance that hormone. No matter how long they tell you it has been balanced, go back and put it in place. Do not joke with it. Go back and start eating right. Because see, my ten I want him. And they tell people, age in a number. But it be number. Now so you take the key egg. Now so your time take the go. Alright? So, having said that, another thing, the third thing you want to sit down and ask yourself is, do I have a correct menstruation circle? Your menstruation is important to when they try to get below. It's very important. If you menstruation is not right, <laughs> that process of ovulation not go happen. No. If you know the menstruator at all, you just say you want to ovulate, you they deceive yourself. You are just deceiving yourself. Your menstruation offices for months now, you just package yourself on one corner, they tell yourself, nothing day. She be that say if woman no menstruate, you go feel ovulate. Who tell you? This thing a circle. Now circle. One has to happen before the other one go happen. You know the jump step. If you like, you did there, they see they draw, draw something. You not go figure belly. And if your menstruation, it will come one month. The next month, it will cease. It will come one month. The next month, it will jump. You just say you will feel ovulate like that. My sisters, you are deceiving yourself. Because for you to have a good ovulation, for you to have a complete ovulation, your menstruation has to come regular for three months. Your menstruation needs to stay balanced three months. Oh. Balance what they talk about, nobody say it will come 28, then the next month 28. No, 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 no. Your menstruation can skip one to two, three days. Three days maximum. Maybe let's say this month it comes 28, next month it comes 25. It's okay. It can even come this month 28, next month 26. It's okay. 27, it's okay. But if your menstruation come, you can't count them, say, not be 21 days before the next one come. For example, thank God I carry a book here. I don't pass it today in a lecture. You see? If you menstruate, and your menstruation, let, uh, which month we did? So um, we are in April, right? All right, let's say uh, March. Moku say March, you menstruate uh, five, day five. All right. March, you menstruate day five. This April, you can't menstruate. April, you come straight day two. All right. From this day five to this day two, you will count how many days there be. The day five where this one starts, to the day two where the next one starts, how many days there be. If you count time, 
You can't see say now 21 days it be. Or 22 days it be. This days now illustration are they use. Because I don't want to count uh, people, tell people they second. Some people, they know they understand. Even if you like, you explain for today to tomorrow, they know go still understand. So I don't want to give them an idea in their head. I want making a go house, go calculator. This thing not be something where they come on every day. You have to calculate the month to make sure, say, now so so days before you go think, say, now your ovulation. Your ovulation will come the same day every month, though. Your ovulation, no, they come the same day every month. If your menstruation, they jump days, your ovulation said they jump days. Not to say, maybe you can't calculate that days, the days, okay. The days last month, now 21 days circle. For your mind, you can say, okay, maybe I, I, uh, I go start to calculate on day three. The next month, you can't, you can't calculate, it could be 22 days circle. You can't say now that day three you go for start to the calculator. You miss word, you mistake. Menstruation and ovulation days does not come the same day, except if your day they stagnant, which means 28 this month, 28 next month, 28 the following month, 28, 28, 28. You know they you know they jump. You know they miss road. Now you go feel okay. Now like this, so now today, now they ovulate. But if you count the day circle, and the day circle can be 21 day circle, how you go take one? Now, you have to start testing yourself. As in, you need to go buy ovulation strip from pharmacy. Because women, they say, I don't know what it be ovulation strip, oh. I don't know what it be ovulation strip, oh. See, make I tell you something. Ovulation strip, the pharmacy, we could stop to play ourselves ignorant. Ovulation strip, he did pharmacy. You, you go go pharmacy, go buy a, a pregnancy test. You don't know, say, na GSF, they say ovulation strip. You go go pharmacy, go buy ovulation strip. Every woman will they try to get blood mosquito. No, say, my friend, calculate them for me. Na eh, he say, na 14 days later, I they ovulate. Then you yourself can't even sit down say, na 14 days later. What about if you know they ovulate at yourself? What about if you know they release egg? Because at the time, I won't see. You see ovulation, what be by seeing civil come cause alone? No, it passed that level. It passed that level of civil come cause. You feel see civil come cause. Make your left one face so it will help you push the air come as I know high. Then nothing will happen. It's more than that. So you need to go and buy an ovulation strip to test yourself. So if your day circle, now 21 days, you don't calculate as okay. Oh, uh, for last month, I see like this. From last month till this month, uh, the day where it starts, okay, now 21 days, it, it be everything. Ha. If now 21 days, you need to start to test yourself for day three. That's day three after your menstruation. Day three after your menstruation finish, which means you don't see that black blood. It don't finish. Well, you know, say every year don't dry. The following day, you start testing. Day, day one, day two, day three. You, that day three, where you go start to test them. So now five days, you go test them. No, be only one day. So we may still make the mistakes. And only one day, they test yourself for ovulation. You don't test yourself one day. You see, I never the advice on women. If you know, say, you know, if you do this calculation, what are they tell you so? The minute you finish your menstruation, go buy ovulation strip. This is not the cost now. You know the cost. Go buy your me, you start to test yourself. But if you follow the calculation and you count as soon as 21 days, day three, you start to test yourself. You test yourself for five days. Day three, four, five, six, seven. Test yourself for five days, it's important. Out of these five days, now the third day night or the fourth day morning you go with this egg. It see, you see this thing there, eh? this thing, this releasing of egg. Not be that five days you they release egg. This, this are twelve hours. Twelve hours. Now only some women they get her for twenty four hours. You have twelve hours to play the game. Twelve hours to catch that egg, or you go lost time till next month. All right, so if you don't cal if you don't calculate on 21 days, day three, 22 days, start testing yourself from day four, 23 days, start testing yourself from day five, 
24 days start testing yourself from day 6 25 day circle day 7 26 day circle day 8 like that just continue all right now, with this uh, i'm coming now All right, now nah, I don't know what is the right for there, but anyway, I hope I'll be, I'll be able to. Now let's just move on. The fifth question or the number, I think I'm on at the number fourth, right? Yeah. Right. The number fourth question that you should ask yourself is if you are actually releasing egg. It's important to <laughs> it's important to know if you they release egg. For a woman, it's very very important. There is no way to, to skip her. You know, some women for hospital, they will tell you, say, go use clothes with me. It's a push the thing, come aside. But instead of you to push the thing, come aside, what will come happen now? You get an ovarian cyst. You see, if egg no mature, you know, go come aside. If you don't reach that stage where you want to release, you know, come on. Egg, they develop, push 22 points, 23 points. But if you know rich, say day 19, nothing would happen. And sometimes if they even come outside, they will reject spam. <laughs> My organ don't wake. My organ don't wake. The boat organ don't wake. The boat organ don't wake. The boat organ don't wake. Can you just give me that cover? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> okay, come. Take we don't almost finish. Uh, all right. Now, like I said, if egg come aside and in no mature way, it can reject the sperm. All right. If he reject them by itself. It's not about you having, uh, being all positive or all negative. No, 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 no. It isn't about that. It isn't about your blood group. It isn't about your genotype. You know they're about that one. Egg being matured also depends on what you feed her. You see, women when they don't reach 40 years, all right? Women when they don't reach that 40 years, they don't always get this kind of problem. Why? Because it takes longer time for egg to develop for women with only 40 years. Women at this age, if it be said now only two or, or three times in a year, they, 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 they ovulate. They feel they made a menstruate oh, throughout. They don't go see that drudge thing. They one in a month. Boom, they could just see her. Why? Because your menopausal symptoms, it would kill the egg for you. That is why it's, it's very good for you to protect it. So if you want to check yourself, if you are releasing egg, that one you have to go to the lab and do this follicle tracking. Then they call it follicle tracking. Everybody can do it. You don't need doctor report to go do your follicle tracking. It is important. Go and check your follicle tracking if you are releasing egg. If your egg is matured enough to be released or if that month nothing at all will come out of it. Now, when you know say your egg, know they mature, you know they develop. What you go use? Berries. Berries. I make me the type of people that get that juice plus berry capsule. Berries help you because they have this natural vitamin E in it that help you boost your egg quality and protect your egg. Start taking berries because it's important. So women get hormone problem where you go make them get some menopausal symptoms. You know, women don't wish to reach 40 years or 50 years before you start to get menopausal symptoms. You don't need to get to that. The minute you leave your hormones in balance for a long time, you start getting that symptoms. And then your eggs start becoming damaged. You go to the hospital, they'll tell you, ha, ah, you have small egg reserve. Oh. You have small egg reserve. Why? Because you don't use hand kill all your egg. Eh? You don't destroy them. Now make me that say, now make me tell you now before say it's good for you to go and check your hormones because it is better safe than sorry.
It is better safe than sorry. If you get only maybe two or three eggs inside you, if they know they develop well, you know if get below. That is why it's good to protect your egg. Know if you are ovulating. Know if your egg is developing every month. It is not only about going to scan, 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 because it's the only test women know how to go. Our black women. The only test where there's been a scan. You ask them, what, what test have you gone to? Eh, I've gone for scan. Scan alone would not help you. Scan alone would not solve your problem. Like I said, you can think you are ovulating. You can see the civil mucus, but don't think that would make you stay sure that you're releasing egg. You feel see that civil mucus, see a draw, draw, extra draw, because you go push yourself, use clomid. You see the reason why they tell people, say, make it not use clomid. Because if you know they release egg, and you go push yourself, instead of the team to come outside, you will go there, go from blockage. You will suffer from ovarian cyst. That kind of ovarian cyst, now you won't be saying, you, you, you go, you yeah, eh, no, you do this, eh, nothing, you do that, nothing. You don't force it, but you can help yourself, especially if you find out on time. Especially, if, you see, the reason why they come outside, they do this video, not because I say I get that too much time, and it's very difficult for me, but to let women understand that being in bondage of infertility can also come from your own hands. Overlooking so many things, so many of your health issues, and you did a bash baby for person wedding. You did put yourself for wahala. Telling yourself, I am ignorant, I'm not sabi this one. I'm not sabi that one, I'm not fit one. That one no me say <laughs> person that this thing. No, 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 no. You ain't ignorant. That one has stupidity. Because you go ahead and you put other people before your own health. You see, all these things why they mention, so many people they notice them. More. In fact, they don't notice them for years. But you rather pay deaf ear to it and tell yourself everything will be fine. It doesn't work that way. If you put your 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 result or whatever result you have and say, I reject it in Jesus' name. It's not my portion. And you know they do anything about them. That thing will come to you ten times. That's how it works. Now, the final thing you want to ask yourself is, I might take in the right supplement or the right food after my ovulation. That's for that two weeks wait. You see, if a woman ovulate finish, whatever you do two weeks later, now your hand the deal. Remember, I said, I wait the king get for the mama body, now they take. Whatever it is important. It's important. Two weeks wait after ovulation is what helps breed your egg. Notice a miracle will happen by itself. Oh. Miracle does not work on its own if you don't help yourself. Making another verse. Hey, some women would have finished ovulating, conception would have taken place. But what did they go do? Out of desperation, they will say, Hey, I want to use this, I want to use that. You know, who we'll give yourself a break for that thing to finish for me to know whether you get belay or not. Just because of say, you see, person post say, Ah, I am pregnant. What did you use? Boom. You will go try. There are some things you eat and some things you don't eat. Especially women will be saying that they feed their stomach hardness. You know, so many women after ovulation, their belly will just start to get hot. Their belly will just start to get hot. It could be one thing. Go like say they put hot to tap This kind of women, you have to watch it. Whatever you eat during early conception can cause you to have miscarriage. Now it be those kind of menstruation where you be saying we can't delay one, two, three days before you know, boom, thick blood. You go wonder, you say, ah, but this thing is pregnant. You go not, you don't, you go not feel all the symptoms. So you go put your your breast everywhere go they pain you. You go get that, you know, that vomiting, nauseous, 
you know, money, you might not actually feel that sickness in money sickness, so, but you can feel it even in the evening because money sickness can come anytime, yeah? It does not really have to be in the morning now you they vomit. Even in the evening, your temperature feel they rise. That's that kind of hotness feel they worry you. You feel don't feel all these things. But later, what thing will happen? Boom. I always tell women, you see, if you know, say you ovulate well, you test yourself, the thing show two big red lines. Be careful for what you take after. Be very careful. If you they use anything, stop her. Use only things like penalta to boost yourself. If you don't forget penalta, go on folic acid vitamin E. Start boosting yourself. But do not jump on using everything that comes your way. And also watch what you eat. You see, one thing about some women, eh, nobody say they get problem. Oh. But the minute they continue to eat all this spicy food, women, they get hot stomach. You get hot stomach already, but you like spicy food. Africans now are style. But sometimes it's not too, too much of spicy food is not good. Too much of spicy food, no good. You go eat and before you know, you say, my stomach is hot. My stomach is hot. Before you know, boom, blood. If they do something for so long, you know, they favor you. Switch them. If you've been eating only meat, carbohydrate, meat, carbohydrate, try to add salad. Try to add salad. Because see, at the time I want thing, you see, folic acid, where woman, where woman at 20, they chop. Not the same thing, where woman at 30, or woman at 40, they chop. The MG can be different. Now it makes some women, they go take folic acid. You know, normally, medically, they go tell you, say, uh, folic acid, nah, for three months, for any woman, they try to conceive, you need to use at least three months, right? But it also depends on the MG and how old you are. Some women know they collect the enough MG. The folic acid they don't use that for one year, still yet. Nothing they happen. Over one year. Why? Because the amount you suppose they take, you know they take up. Now I make the they talk, say, make you the miss out with salad. This salad way they see only in a folic acid though. Or you put with the chopper, nobody say they be good too. They are not good. But because it helps you. Even if you know they take the enough amount of folic acid that you supposed to take for capsules, if you they eat salad, it will help you bridge the gap. It's like adding it to it. But some people know. They only depend on the capsules. If you not give their capsules or oh, nothing, you even go hospital, you don't go ask them, doctor, what is the kind of food I'm supposed to eat? No. They will say, I bet me I just give me the medicine make I take. So, yeah, medicine, not the way I go use. You know, don't depend in a life on medicine. When your food is supposed to be your medicine. Women go go for IVF. They don't go even mind with it at the chop. After they go say, they go say IVF no work. They go say IVF no work. You don't go mind with you, they chop. You go reach as you chop, chop everything. Everything will come your face. Everything will come your front. Don't you know there are some food you don't eat when you go for IVF? There are some food you don't eat. Look, we start today, watch out. All these little, little, common, common something, what would they count in and nothing? That common, common something, what you they overlook? Now that thing, feel be the blockage, why you know they get better today? We men, when they just marry, in a better take this video, making that they put her for in a brief. Because remember, say, woman, they marriage, one month now, Valuko, two months, eh, no, wahala, they, they do honeymoon. Three months, one year, they go, say, ah, ah, auntie, what did they happen now? Two years, hmm, it be like, say, something done, they happen for this house. Three years, mama go call it, because she done, say, son, eh, something is not right. So if there is a step you are missing up, go and fill up the gap right now. If there is one thing you are not doing, go and switch it up. Start eating right. You know they eat fruits, vegetables. Start to the chopper. We could stop to the give ourselves the excuse. Eh? Oh, this is another thing I buy for our place. Oh. 
They know they see a chop for you. Who tell you? Who tell you? Say they know they see a chop for you. Now be now you they overlook them. They waka come out. You know if you go market, if you not put eye down for market, search for things. You not gonna say that they sell up. You will never know. All right. So I hope. This one, this moti when I talk, it don't enter some people. I don't know which people, which, which person be down away. Come here. Come here, they, they insult me for my pain. Listen, let me tell you something. I, we are all adults here. There is nothing like insult here. First of all, your insult need to pepper me because you know, say, so what's here? They talk now. You are the talk I'm to. And they bond you. If they pepper you for body as they talk. So your insult not to pepper me because it doesn't change anything in my life. I have a very good life and I'm so thankful to God for it. All these people where they bring haters come with me, not them, them. Now they go still come my back. They beg me, Madam, please help me. I need your help. You will come front. You will come, they insult me. But when you come back, you come meet me. Please, eh, I want to do this. Listen, you can't do me no harm, no shit. You know why? Because I get God way passing off my back. If you try to stop me, you try to bring your wallah, higher I go. Last week, we were doing hosting video. We have 500 views. Now we are having 1,000, 2,000. So... Pour the insult and I'll be going higher. You could just need to look like this. That's what it be. All right? I mean, I don't worry. Men those people get there, they talk. You know, pepper me. <laughs> anyway, let me take questions, Jare, for people where they enjoy show. Hmm, see. Let's try to take a few questions here. I think we have a few questions. All right. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah. I'm breastfeeding mother and I'm not seeing my period. Can a breastfeeding mother of late, can she get pregnant fast? Please answer my question. All right, now I'll tell you one thing then. Eh? You can be breastfeeding and don't, don't menstruate. It's a normal thing. Even me, what they talk to me, they do to me. If I don't stop breastfeeding, my menstruation would not come. It's just your hormones. When you're breastfeeding, you have the, what they call high, hyperprolactemia. Because make it they come out from your body. All right? Now, after breastfeeding, your menstruation will come back. It's not something for you to worry about. And tell you what, some people, because you have hyperprolactemia, you cannot pre get pregnant while breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is like a contraceptive for most women. When you're breastfeeding, nothing like belly they happen. So just relax, there is nothing wrong with you without seeing your menstruation. You're just practically fine. You're okay, 100% okay. All right? Now, um, let's see. Uh, okay. Metabolism, eh? some change at age rate. Balanced diet, dinner, not fufu. Vegetables, wheat, biscuits too. <laughs> I don't understand that question. But I have fufu where you put there. Eh? Too much of you know, too much of carbohydrate is not so good for so many people, especially women who are diabetic. There are some people who are diabetic, and they are still suffering from it to date. Or they have this high blood sugar or high cholesterol. You have to watch it. All right. So too much of carbohydrate is not so good for you to eat. You need more fiber. All right, more fiber is what you need. Let's see. Um, away. Please, ma, my period was 13th of March and come again 3rd of April and then again 29th April. I am in my period right now. When should I start using the kit, the test kit? Now you have to calculate from 3rd to... Oh, sorry, dear. Why is it stopping it? Now, I'll not be able to, ca to count it for you, but I'll tell you this. You see, from the 13th to... No, Papi, stop. From the 13th to 3rd of March, you're going to count how many days it is. All right? See, let me tell you one thing, ladies, because uh, I'm sure some people even asked the question while I was talking, but I could not stop. Hmm. You see, if you count your days from that first date to the next date, and it's 21 days, you don't have any problem. 
A good menstrual circle should be from 21 to 35 days circle. So if you have 21 days circle to 35 days circle, you are perfectly okay. All you need to do is do this song for your head. 21 days, day 3. 22 days, day 4. 23 days, day 5. 24 days, day 6. Just do it like that till you get to that 35 days. And you know exactly when to start testing. Whenever the days may fall on, know that you have to test yourself for five days. It's a five days thing to do. All right? Five days straight, now you go do one. Now, if you don't do one the first day in the morning, nothing like that, your money pee, they use your money urine. It's the same way you test yourself, you test yourself for pregnancy, like you want to know if you're pregnant. Aw, sweetie. Are you tired? Oh, oh who is that? <laughs> All right, now, if you test yourself the first day, and then you do it in the morning, the second day, you do it in the morning, the third day, you do it in the evening, and in the morning. Hey, puppy, come and take. No, oh, you want to take? Come I mean, I'm not vessel. This is on a mama, mama and son show. My followers, they know. <laughs> this is a mother and son show. All right. Now, like I said, in the morning, the first day you test yourself in the morning. The second day you test yourself in the morning. The third day you test yourself in the morning and in the evening. The fourth day you test yourself in the morning and in the evening. The fifth day you feel just test yourself in the morning. No wahala. You know the reason why I say you test yourself morning and evening? Because some people, they go release egg in the evening. They no go know. They will come go test themselves in the morning. Thinking, say, the egg just come outside. But maybe it don't already pass 12 hours. <coughs> oh, sorry, dear. Maybe it's already more than 12 hours. All right. So, that's the reason why you have to do it like that. Hey, you want to go? All right, so I hope um, I explained. Do I know if you go too deep? My picking there. <laughs> My son is. Oh. If someone is taking juice plus B veggies, is it too much? Now, I'll tell you what, if you're taking juice plus capsules already, you shouldn't really get bothered. You know why? Because it helps you bridge the, the, bridge the gap. You're not eating fruits and vegetables, you're taking it, you're taking about 15 different portions. Of fruit, vegetables, and berries. Oh, sweetie, are you tired? But you just, you just opened your eyes. You shouldn't be tired. <sighs> what? Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to see your face? You want to show your face? Don't worry, we're almost done. I wasn't going to spend much time here. We're almost done. Now, uh, like I said, if you're taking Juice Plus capsules, this one, all right, if you're taking it, you shouldn't get, as in, no need for you to stress because you just they bridge up the gap. If you take this one, you take 15 portions of vegetable. You take this one, you take 15 portions of berry. You take this one, 15 portions of fruit. So you don't really need to stress, all right? No stress. No be wahala. Now, let's see. Oh, my son is tired, though. My son is very tired. All right. Uh, how much is the capsule? Okay, you know what? Uh, every country has its price. What I can tell you is send me a message on my number and ask me for the link. All right? Close the door. Let me see. Go. Yeah, go. You want banana? Sugar dough for sugar dough? Now, if um, if you want the capsules, just send me a message on my number. All right, my number is there on the screen. Plus three nine three two seven three one one six nine nine four, and just ask me for the link, and then I'll send it to you. Just tell me you want the link, and then I'll send you the link. Seven three one one. Sorry, just got to do this. Six nine nine four. Aha. Why are you tired? Are you tired? Don't worry. I'm going to soon be done. Alright. Okay, I just pinned my number there on the screen. 
plus three nine three two seven three one one six nine nine four that's my number you can just send me a message all right? oh what is the joyfulness about happen <laughs> all right so um i don't think i'll be able to take more questions i'm so 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 sorry but i really have to let me see let me see if I can find anyone close. We will take one more. All these people, they come here, they can't advertise for my this thing. Because men are carrying a self commod. This is not a marketplace. You can actually go do your video, do your marketing. But please don't come here and tell me you make a site and somebody make 10,000 error. Just get yourself out. If you want to learn how to get paid, stay. But if you don't want, I beg, carry yourself, go. And which kind of scam be this one? In a, in a hot afternoon in some places. I beg go. I better take that time. Go. Eh, eh. Now, let's see. If I can take one more question and we'll come call it a day. How can I get the capsules? Please send me a message. My number is there. All right. Now, um, this is what I'll say. <laughs> this is what I'll say. When you're sending me a message, illustrate. If you want the link, just tell me, please, I want the link and I'll, I'll send it to you. All right. For those people who won't call me, they tell me for private consultation. Listen, you got to pay 5K before you, you ask for private consultation. Though it's just a one time payment, but you need to pay for the consultation. All right. Not the one person tell me, say, eh, Ma, I want to talk to you. I know there's a consultation fee. Uh, when I finish talking, uh, when we finish talking, I'll, uh, I'll sort out the consultation. Me, I can't waste time. They call you. When I call you, finish. You tell me, I'll get back to you. After one month, you don't get back to me. It ain't working that way. Nobody's a baby. You want? Hey. You want a private consultation? You got to pay for it. All right? So, anyway. Oh, my. What happened? Yes. All right. No, my light. What did you do with my light? Papi. No. Why did you switch it off? Sorry. So sorry. I, uh, I guess I'm going to call it a day. But like I said before, for those people who are my sharers. Stop, puppy, stop. Who are my sharers on Facebook? You know, I always do this thing of every month picking 30 women for my followers every month, both men and women, not only women, even men, to help them through fertility issue. All right. I'll be telling you what to do what to eat all right uh fine stop please please stop no more all right i'll be telling you what to do what to eat during this one month and even calculating your ovulation for you so watch out for your name all right that's my whatsapp group people ask me do you have whatsapp group yes uh do you enter for free no uh, do you pay for it? No, but you got to qualify to enter. All right. It's just a simple something. You got to be one of my top fans or my top sharers to be inside the group because you know, but they're easy. All right. Calculating, calculating 30 women uh, ovulation is not a fun something, but you got to qualify. So, uh, eh, eh, eh. what? What? Oh, what? What? What do you want? Okay, so uh, you need to qualify. Now, this is what I would say. By 12 midnight, I will be bringing out the names. All right? So watch out for your name. If you qualify, just send me. Basta. Basta, that's so. Okay. Just send me a message on my WhatsApp number if you qualify, and then I'll add, add it to the group, all right? So, everybody, made a no verse. I got to go attend to my picking. Thank you so, so much, everybody, uh, for watching. I really appreciate. Thank you. God bless you all, and I pray that God will really answer your prayer with everything that you've been watching and learning from me, all right? So, thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful day, and bye for now.